Hey fellow home improvement fanatics, this is Tim and this is the very first video that I'm doing on DIY Villa. We just purchased our home literally yesterday and we have a long list of things that we want to start to do to try to update it a little bit. It's a 70s style townhome in California and it's got a bunch of things that we want to do but the first thing that I'm going to be working on is resurfacing or repainting our back deck. Um, it has been chipped. It was originally like this red color. It's been chipped. It's been worn and just like it looks really bad. And so one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to reseal it and paint it a nice gray to kind of spruce up our back patio area. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is our back patio area. Um, we've already done a little landscaping, got some wood chips and stuff in the back, and, and we have some stones that we laid a while ago. And our dog actually spends a ton of time back here. This is kind of his outdoor home uh, for when we're not around and when we're at work. But here is the concrete patio that we have. Um, you can see that it usually, uh, was originally like this burgundy red color here, um, and has since been chipped and worn, and, and now a lot of the concrete is showing. Uh, the step is still pretty red um, but one of the things I want to do is I'm going to resurface this whole area with a nice gray uh, concrete paint sealer uh, that I got at Home Depot and I actually picked it up right here uh, it's this bare concrete and garage floor paint um, the guy at the hardware store said this would be great for indoor outdoor use uh, it's this light uh, gray color slate gray um, so it'll look nice out here in contrast with the brownish red chips that we have uh, in the back area. So one of the first things I need to do is take our grill and all of the items that we have out here, uh, move them off to the side, and then I'm gonna clean clean the surface uh, just with a power hose. Uh, nothing fancy, uh, this is pretty sticky stuff, fills in the cracks, it doesn't need to be like uber clean, I don't need a power wash or anything. He said I can paint over some of these old chips and stuff. So I'm gonna clean this all off, uh, and then once I do that, I will start to uh, paint the area. So I will get to cleaning, and then on uh, the next part, show you guys what it looks like as I start to paint it. All right, I just swept and then washed the concrete, so now I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. And then once it dries, I can start applying the new floor paint to it. Okay, so now the concrete is dry from being washed. Uh, it was time to start rolling on the paint and I did the first square. Looks pretty good so far, nice and gray. So one square done out of the six that I have to do and I've still got tons of paint left. So I'm gonna do one coat, might have to go over again with another coat. So it's just like any other paint, just put it in the pan and roll it on. I got a nice long, uh, rod to make it easy to roll on the paint. So uh, step by step here, I'm gonna work on the other squares and get this done. All right. There it is, all done. All six squares, painted nice and gray, the step, everything. So now I'm just waiting for it to dry. Uh, may need to go back over some areas with some that have deep crevices with the brush, um, but otherwise, looks good. Uh, they recommend not to set anything back up on it for 24 hours, so just gonna let it sit and make sure to keep the dog off of the wet paint. Uh, but otherwise, got a nice, clean, newly gray coated back patio. So here's the finished product. Looking all nice. Got my grill set back up and looking nice and clean. That's what a finished painted patio looks like. So we'll call this DIY Villa project done.